Hello everyone, my name is Ben and I would like to show you a quick tip on how to create your own thread profile in Fusion 360. It's very easy, right now we cannot do it in Fusion 360, but uh, on the forum one of the guys uh, asked for help and uh, I figured out how to do it, so I thought I'm going to share it, share it with everyone else. Uh, so let's get started. But don't forget rule number one, always create a new component. Then we're going to create the, the base. And uh, let's start with 40 millimeter di diameter. Choose a um, polygon. That's going to be actually for the uh, base of the screw. That's good. Now let's uh, extrude it. Give it about 20 millimeters. New body. And we're going to activate the sketch again. Long left click profile. And we're going to extrude it out, make sure that it's uh, joined. And let's give it, yeah, 110, it's fine. Next, we can show this sketch off. We're going to create the um, thread and the thread profile. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the uh, coil. Uh, you could, I believe, use also the thread tool, but I like to uh, use the coil. I have a lot more freedom of uh, changing different kind of settings. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, first of all, we need to uh, check the plane. Where we're going to start, you can start from here, from the top or the bottom. It's actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's not from the bottom. Then you choose the um, center point. Diameter 40, that's fine. As you can see here. And height, um, yeah. Let's push it up a little bit more. And just turn it around. <clears throat> and we can get it all the way up here. Yeah, that looks good. And revolution, yeah, again, it's up to you how many you want, how many you need. Uh, four for now, it looks fine. We change the section to a triangle external. And position, it should be inside or outside. You can do it outside. We can basically play with it to see according to the profile and according to the screw how you want it and um, there's something you can play with and section side which means the the, the outer uh, from the base here to the tip how many millimeters i'm going to choose uh, eight millimeters and of course we're going to choose here new body this is very important in a moment you're going to see also why then you press ok Good, so now basically we have the, you can call it base profile for our thread profile. And, uh, and we're going to use this actually to create the spiral effect for the thread profile. So now we just need to go to, a, to our offset, um, choose a, a plane, go to here and press OK. Create a new sketch on this plan and slice it. And first I would I, I like to uh, look for the uh, middle point of the screw here. So I'm gonna draw this line so now I know where the middle is because I'm gonna need it uh, later, I'm gonna project the bottom 
parts. Click OK. Good. So now we're actually ready to uh, draw our profile. Let's start. And and again, you can just choose whatever profile you, you want to make. And it doesn't really matter. It applies to almost anything. And we can uh, now, uh, let's get some symmetry here. If not, everything is going to be really mess. Good. Um, do some dimensions. Let's make this one 30 degrees and this one it's two seven. Let's give it five. And the distance from here it's gonna be let's see 30 centimeters. Yeah, but now you see this one actually moved. Let's see if we can uh, anchor this one. Actually, there's a better way of doing this. We're going to do a lock. We're going to fix it here so it's not going to move. So now we can just double click, change it to 30. Now you see the profile start to get uh, better shape. Um, maybe it's too much. Give it. 28. It looks a little bit better. Good. Uh, now, when we are that we are done with the profile, <clears throat> second and important things that we need to do is um, we need to project the spiral profile, those two lines. So we go to the sketch, project include, include 3D geometry. So we're going to do it here also. Project this one and this one. That's it. Stop sketch. Now, here comes the fun part. Now we can go to the bodies. Remember, we have two bodies here. We chose this one as the body. We can just turn it off. We don't need it anymore. And next, we're going to create and we do a swipe. So first we need to choose path and guide rail. First we choose the profile. Then we choose the path, which will be the, this one. And the guide rail. And it's going to be this one. Three seconds. It's showing that it's cut because the profile is actually a little bit inside. So um, we do a join and voila, this is it. It's very, very, very simple. And it's great because you can always change how many coils do you want inside. Um, then we just click on OK. Now we can always uh, go back in here. <clears throat> Double click on the timeline, see if you want, you can change it to uh, five revolution. Click OK, let it be refresh, and that's it. And if you wanted to make it uh, a little bit nicer, you can use, for example, the uh, press spool in the corner here, and press it a little bit inside. That's going to look nicer. And you can just keep model it uh, according to uh, you need. But basically, this is it. And you can use the same uh, technique to whatever other shapes that you want or other, other application that you need. But uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, tip. And if you have any questions, uh, maybe request for to, to other kind of uh, tips and any things that you want to know. So let me know below. Okay, bye-bye.